Okay, so this bird here, guys, is the last one to come home. This is the tenth bird to get home. The ninth bird got home this early this morning, and I called him in. And this afternoon, I took a quick nap. I took about an hour nap, and I woke up, and this bird was home. This is the tenth bird. But I'm going to show you a reason why birds like these they won't fly well. When they're remote and their feathers look like this, they will not fly well. They will fall behind. You see, these are young birds. We got our young birds on the right side and we got our old birds on the left side. I separated them out. All the breeders are here on the left and all the young birds on the right. We are not flying over half these young birds because some of these young birds are pretty much backed up and they still need to loft fly and learn the areas first before they go in the basket. They're just too far behind. But in September, we'll fly all of them all of them together. But for now, we're gonna fly the first 10 birds. The older birds, the ones that was born in January, February, March, and April. But anyways, this bird, as you can see, the feathers on it are not good. He's pruning himself. His wing feathers are not good. So he's not flying very well at all. At these short distances, Within the city, he can keep up just fine. But as you start to go out towards the outer skirts, and when you go farther and farther, he starts to fall behind. So I'm cutting this bird out of the race. I won't train him no more. He has gotten back, but I will not train him no more. I will just keep him here just for law flying purposes for now. But he is not going to join the team of birds to race anymore the sibling of that bird is that big one right there and his feather is perfectly fine his feathers are perfectly fine and he's the good strong one and the healthy one and but he for some reason just does not have good feathers so we're not gonna fly him no more so this bird is out of the race and his brother will continue on racing for him I'm gonna make a video to show you real quick why the feathers are really important. This one is one of the better flyers. We are getting ready to take them on a training toss. And this one, as you can see, has very nice, smooth and shiny, silky feathers, okay? It, it's, a, it's a dark check, but it has very smooth and nice and shiny feathers. His, looks like his sixth flight is still molting out. So we could we could use some more time on him, like slow it down a little bit, but they have nine flight feathers. They're still flying pretty well. But as you can see, the coat is starting to shine as they're molting in the new feathers. And the, fe the feathers feel very nice and smooth. Pigeon's feathers are very, very important because they act like whiskers to the brain of the bird's body. You know, the, the, my theory is that the feathers of the birds, <clears throat> all the feathers together combined from the top to the bottom of the bird, they act like whiskers and a sensory to the whole magnetic field. So the importance of the feathers really matter. A good flyer will have really nice, smooth feathers most of the time. Sometimes there are some flyers who don't have as much smooth feathers and they still do pretty well. But a bird's feathers are, in some ways, their fibers, they act like, like a satellite dish or in some ways the whiskers of a catfish or the whiskers of a dog and cat where they can sense things and they, and they, are, and they have very, very strong sensories towards the magnetic field. All that, all this stuff matters because it connects to the nose and the brain of the bird. The brain of the bird is connected to the whole body and the magnetic field from underneath and from the top, along with the eyes and the nose and the beak and the brain, it all has to play, it all has to be in good shape and it all, and it all plays a good part in how the bird flies and how the bird gets home. And the physics aspect of it is the health part. The bird has to have good health 
but in order for the birds to get home they get and to fly well on in a timely manner they gotta they gotta be strong and they gotta be in good condition and all the feathers have to be in good condition they can't be all broken up and nasty they have to be nice and smooth all the way through that's my theory all right now this bird this is this is the 10th bird home okay this bird came home 10th today this bird was born in january and and you see his feathers why he came last when you look at the quality of his feathers you know why he came last the, the feathers on this one because he was too close of an inbred line his feathers kind of frizzed up a little bit and they're more softer they're not as stiff you see they're a little bit on the smaller side here and there you're still molting them out but as you can see the feathers on the top side you see how they're not like all nice and neatly together they're kind of frizzled and his tail feathers same thing See how he has these little markings there? Yeah, so this one, in the first feather here, he's not flying well yet. He actually, he took way too long of a time just to get home. Okay, so the feathers indicate whether he's gonna be a good flyer or not. Because they act like antennas. If there's something wrong with the, with the feathers, the bird's sensory won't be well, the bird's strength won't be there, the bird's, like everything is just kind of like disordered. You see the feathers are kind of small and broken. You see that? Yeah, the quality of the feather matters. See, this bird does not have good feather quality. I saved this bird as an experiment just to test and see the bird. But the sibling bird to this one is really good because the father and the mother of this bird shared the same mother. But because the father of this bird and the mother of this bird share the same mother. They were a little bit too closely inbred. And so their genetics defected on them a little bit. So this one is the one that's out of the race for now. You see his feathers, how they're molting and they're not coming in all the way nicely. The blue bars are not, the blue bars on the wing feathers and stuff are not coming in nicely. Yeah, it's an indication that the bird has the feather quality of the bird is not good and that's probably also why the bird's not flying so well and he falls behind okay so he was way behind for that distance he should have made it home in no time but yes so i'm counting him out, out of the race you see the feather quality how it's like all broken like that it's not good it has to be nice and smooth all the way through the flight the, the flight feathers are okay they're, they're good but the secondary flights are all bad so that's an indication of why the bird was so slow and didn't keep up and when we start jumping the distances. So he's out of the race and we're going to wait until he turns into second feathers and see how he flies. Until he molts all these feathers out. Okay. Alright, so today we're just going to show you a quick, um, so a few wings of birds that I believe are good. This is one of my good birds. I really like this bird. This bird is from my Gabby Cross birds. It's kind of an inbred bird in a way, but not really. But anyways, so this bird is from like a different complete line, okay? And this bird was born in January. This bird is born in January when it's really, really cold. So the feathers were not that nice. And the bird was much smaller and the feathers did not turn out that nice. Okay, but as you see, the birds are molting. The feathers are really, really tiny. But the birds molted out, but second feather, as the bird changes into the second feather, the, the second feathers are coming out very nice and large. See, this is a molting feather right here also. And then these are gonna be molted out sooner, sooner than before. But as you can see, the length of the secondary flights, the length of the secondary flights, can you hold it? All right, just hold the bottom right here like this, yes. Okay, now, and then compared to this one, this one is born in March. Okay, this one was born in March. As you can see, the quality of the of the, of the feathers of, of the different types of wings of the birds. This bird's wing, can you hold it nicely? Like this, like this, hold it nicely. Okay. 
So this bird's wing compared to that bird's wing, who do you think will fly the distance? And so you see this bird has very nice, large, shiny feathers, very thick stem. The stem, I like the stem on, on the birds to be very, to be pretty stiff. Okay, to be very, to be pretty stiff and the feathers to have no breakages in them, to be all nice and neatly like together. Not like this one, see how this one's kind of, uh, the feathers kind of break a little bit like that. And it's, and it's skinnier, the feathers, the, the, the secondary feathers are really tiny compared to this one, you see? So that means that when, as we jump the distance, this bird, he, he might start, start to slow off as we jumped into the 100 mile range. But this bird, and the muscle of this bird, this one has a lot of muscle as well, but the feathers are just much smaller during the first feather. This is first feather, first year birds. So, you know, as you, if you look at the two different bird wings, when you fly the short distances, this one will fly no problem along with these birds. But as we go into 200, 300 miles, the birds with the smaller wings like this, they will start to have, uh, what is it, difficulties. They, they will start to slow off, especially if they're overweight or too fat, okay? The stiffness of the stem of the wings, it matters, and the width of the wings is also very important so that they can stay up in the air. The length of the wing, it matters to a certain degree. From what I've heard, they said that, you know, say you want all the secondary flights to be a good length and to be a bunch, to be very silky smooth and, and bunched up together so that the birds would have a lot of support underneath his wings as he's flapping like this, okay? So as the bird fly, he flaps like this and all this feather will support his dynamics and his speed, okay? So that's one part that we're just gonna talk about, okay? So today we're talking about some wing feathers, okay? The tail feathers are molting in. He's changing, all these birds are changing. They're still in molt. So I'm just showing you the feathers before they molt out all the feathers. Now this one, next season, this one's all, all the secondary feathers are gonna come out nicely and fat. But the first feather, as a young bird, the feathers are not all that there or nice, like this one. So this one will make a better young bird compared to this one. So that's just what I wanted to point out today of feather quality and why it's important, okay? All right, so we're showing you guys the, these two sibling birds, okay? This is the tenth, this is the bird that came 10th today. This bird came last on the second day, like towards mid afternoon on, on, a, on about the, like a eight mile toss. So this bird is out because the feathers, these two birds are siblings, but you can see the quality of them, okay? Their, their mother and father, share the same um, mother, okay? So their grandma, mm -hmm. their mother and father share the same uh, mother, different fathers, okay? And then we bred them, the mother and father. The father was a, a, a Jansen, and then the mother was the David Cla the mother was from the David Clausing mixed with the, uh, with the Gabby. But as you can see, the, the feather quality, because they're closely inbreded, one of them came out the, with genetic defects. That one is the one that came out with genetic defects, okay? So, let's see the wings on that one, okay? And this one, okay? This one has smooth feathers all the way around, while that one has broken up feathers. This is called a genetic defect because of, of a closely inbred, okay? So, as, but as you can see, so it, it's a 50-50 chance and miss when you line breed or inbreed. You know, sometimes they'll throw you an off baby. You see, you see how the, 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 the secondary flights on that baby is, is not that good. You see how they're all kind of broken up. But this one, very nice and smooth and large. See, all it all depends, okay? It's a hit and miss when you inbreed. Sometimes you, when they're too closely inbreded, they have that that you know that color they have poor feathers you'll see see how small and brittle the, these feathers are compared to these ones okay all right so and this one's one of my favorite one because he's good size and then this one took an extra band from 2019 an extra band we had laying around because i ran out of leg bands because i thought that this one might be the better one i put the leg band on this one and then i let this one just kind of hang out and he turned out to be the better one and so he doesn't have a leg band 
but this is what happens when you inbred too closely. It's a 50-50 chance of miss and of genetics defects, I like that, okay? But this one is very, very good quality. And this one is just not good quality at all. So this one's out of the race. We're just gonna let this one sit around and loft fly with all the young birds and go to snort tosses. But until he, until his feather improves, until you molt out all these feathers and go into his second year, we won't fly him again, okay? Okay, so that concludes the video of how why how and why feathers are very important and um yes feather quality matters because that's how the birds will be able to fly and will be able to sense the magnetic fields in the earth's surfaces through the air through the wind and everything else and um anyways our next video that i'm about to post up is the training toss from today from earlier today after we did the the feather quality video we went out and gave them another short toss we went out about another two and a half to three miles outwards i looked at them on the speedometer it's about like almost three miles so and it, it took the birds 40 minutes because it was very windy and the birds did not fly up high they flew more lowered to the ground so and they also flew in a different direction and it took them 40 minutes to get home today so we're going to repeat the same toss tomorrow. But anyways, I hope you guys like and enjoy these videos. And subscribe if you haven't. And comment if you have any opinions or any comments at all that you want to make. Just keep it appropriate. And uh, we thank you for tuning in. And we hope you subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.